Welcome to Pion Press Channel. Hello. And today we are going to explore some uh, Prince Rupert's drops and other stuff underwater and film that with high speed camera. And this is mostly about these. This has been asked really many times to explore one of these underwater. And now we are going to put our powerful lights here and get the high speed camera out and try what happens. What is your like opinion what is going to happen if you explore one of these in underwater? Nothing special. I think the like shock wave thing is exactly the same. Yep. The shrapnel just stays on its place. It's interesting to see how far it gonna, is going to fly. And I think nobody hasn't tried this before, so it's really interesting. And here we go. Whoa. God damn, that was quite hard explosion. I got some glass on my face. Luckily I had safety glasses. So here is the slow motion part and first I thought that I have something wrong with my camera because those bubbles are really strange looking but then I realized that the pressure shock from the drop exploding is so large that it makes the pressure inside the glass container fluctuate between high pressure and low pressure and during those slow pressure moments the pressure is so low that water actually boils and we get those cavitation bubbles but this is so interesting that I have to do this bit better and it was rainy day so we decided to wait for one day and continue tomorrow on outside when the sun is shining and we have more light so one day has passed now and the weather is finally really yep. good and we have much more light because of the sun. I also got my lights out, but I don't even know if they help at all. But all the light that we can use is good. And now we are going to break one more drop. Now we have a bit larger pool and about same camera settings. If this goes well, then I go with higher frame rate also. But it's really interesting to see if they like frequency of those tiny bubbles, same with the bigger pool and the smaller. I think it's I think it's a bit slower frequency now with those cavitation bubbles or what they are. But yeah let's let's see. Yeah. And I did some calculations and with the smaller container the pressure fluctuation frequency was about 900 Hz and now it's about 50% more so it was actually higher which is surprising and I think we didn't get as many bubbles with this larger thing than with the smaller thing so I decided to try again with the smaller and now we are going to use much higher frame rate so we can see those bubbles a bit longer. I think also that they are mostly out of focus, so they are probably on the like inner surface of the glass because the focus point is up on the middle of the container. And because the smaller container was so much more interesting and we got more bubbles, I decided that the smaller the better, so I got this 
just like a drinking glass and we test it here. Oh! So here it was, we exploded the Prince Rupert drop and the drinking glass both. The shock from the drop is so big and sharp that the glass breaks almost at the same moment. Here you can see it frame by frame. It's just one frame after the drop is broken that the glass broke. So it's really fast and sharp explosion from the Prince Rupert drop. And the frame rate was about 5000, so it is only 200 microseconds to glass break after the drop goes. So, Anni, uh, I have like some memories about yesterday. Yeah. And when we started this project, you said that nothing special will happen. And I was already quite hyped out from the like cavitation bubble from the water. But I think this was really nice. Okay, this was special. Yeah. I was wrong. I was yeah, wrong. this this quite clearly demonstrates how much of energy is inside of those drops. And if you because have this glass was totally okay. Yeah, and those are that. those are yeah. quite sturdy glasses because they are same stuff that they same stuff that they use in Finnish bars, <laughs> and people tend to like throw those at each other <laughs> so they have to be really strong and it's still destroyed quite easily with the this Rupert drop so it, it it was quite good bang <laughs> and if you have some ideas that we should also destroy with Prince Rupert drops please let us know <laughs> we don't have any more drops today but I think we can get more yep. hey Anne I yeah. I think we have to do this again with like as big as drop as we can get. Yeah. And with and then explore that bigger, bigger Ooh. pool with the same method. It would be nice. And because of Anni was so sure that nothing special will happen. Nothing special. We have also other stuff like ready for our high speed water test. So. We will continue now on those. They are also really interesting.
Yeah, but I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. <laughs>